Hey everyone, I wanted to do a video on my version of the dust stopper vac cart. Um, you've probably seen similar ones to this, but I put my own little twist on it that I didn't really see on my videos search in YouTube. And so I'll take you around it and show you what I did and see what you guys think. Um, I went with the Bauer uh, 4 horse, 6 gallon. Uh, Harbor Freight vacuum. Everyone else seems to be using that big orange rigid, but I don't need a huge honking vacuum. Especially if everything ends up in the bucket, why do I need 10 gallons down there? So I also went with the dust stopper. Wanted to keep it sh uh, as short and compact as possible. It performs as well as anything else from the videos I watched. And uh, by the time you invest the time into a bucket and lid fittings, and then probably another lid after you screw it up, and it doesn't work right, why not just buy the lid? It works really well. Um, there's almost nothing that I've noticed has ended up in my bucket, just some very fine, fine dust. But I'm pretty pleased with how that's performed. I saw several of them were utilizing PVC pipe for the legs for the stand but they weren't utilizing it past that um, so I decided to see if I could use this leg to also be my connection from the vacuum to the dust stopper the dust stopper comes with this 36 inch hose which if I would have used it, I would have had to get another 90 for the vacuum because it's too short. I mean, it probably would have worked, but it's really tight and it pulls on the lid and I didn't like it. It's also <clears throat> runs right down the center, right in front of my on off switch, which was annoying. And I didn't like the way they look. I mean, just scrolling through the YouTube videos, that hose down the middle just it doesn't look as clean as I'd like so what I did is I used the 90 off the dust stopper straight into the vacuum 2 inch Fernco 45 Y my Y is blocked off right here I just traced the pipe and a piece of plastic and silicone that in right here um, right here I used a repair coupling so that can slide freely up and down on this pipe it doesn't have the plastic stop in the middle for when they come together mainly because I wanted to keep that a single piece I didn't want an extra seam there because this is the one that actually provides the suction went with a long sweep 90 here and then a regular 90 into the vacuum it's sealed better than I expected I thought I was gonna have to do something either some dremeling or gasket material or something there to keep that sealed but it's performed well so far it pulls the the lid down with the suction it's creating so I know I'm getting good suction to clean it you can see I just have my hose looped around and right back in here. I've got my first extension in there and then my hose, so that's ready to go. <clears throat> see how nice and clean that is without that hose running down the middle? This swivels. If you didn't like that, you could secure that, but it hasn't bothered me yet and it hasn't affected the suction. That's just for whatever reason it seems to to work well so I'm not gonna mess with it until I see the need to uh, I also used wise to make accessory holders I didn't want a big platform here to collect dust and whatnot I just there's nothing wrong with that but I thought why not use the pipe and fittings available you can mod make it modular and switch it around and change things to your liking as you please as you get more accessories and whatnot you can always add subtract the inch and seven eighths stuff fits 
in a two inch pipe really well. This hose will actually fit down in that pipe if you don't want to, to have that much hanging out when you're storing it. Um, on the Craftsman accessories, it has this lip that I did have to dremel off on this brush and this brush just so they fit in that pipe better. I don't think it's going to hurt it any. The Bauer Harbor Freight doesn't have that and I'm not worried about it. Everything is super secure. And then I'll probably do something different for my electrical cord, but for the time being that works well. I can grab the whole thing and go. I zip tied it up high so you're not reaching down and messing with that, that getting tangled up in your hose or any of that stuff. I cut my holes to the size of my pipe so that way the stand just rests on the hubs of a fitting. Like I said here, I use the repair coupling, but I use the, the extra hose clamp off of this Fernco coupling to hold that in place. Otherwise, that just slides up and down as it pleases. <clears throat> the rigid videos I saw, they reduce down when they get to the vac to clear that. I don't recommend re reducing if you can help it. It's just not good for business um, to clean it. Like I said, nothing's glued. Pop that off, take your hose off, and your bucket is free. Uh, now you can get to that without taking the stand apart any farther than this. You can take your top off and service your filter. Not that you're ever going to have to because that thing works. I should have bought it a long time ago. And like I said, you could orientate this a million different ways. Whatever works for you, you do you. I'm excited to see what other ideas guys come up with for this. Been using it for about two weeks now and I'm really happy with how everything is performing. It's just slick, rolls around nice, compact, efficient, effective. I don't think that this could possibly be any more restrictive than this accordion ribbed stuff. I just, I don't like that stuff if I can help it. Been in the mechanical trade for a number of years now and anytime we can get away from using anything with ribs in it, we do. Smooth wall PVC pipe, it's, it's got to be way more efficient. Um, use that long sweep 90 there, it almost looks like it was made for that application. It also helps the air, air is lazy, so help it where you can. I got clear access to my on off switch and it seems to be working really well. The four horsepower has plenty of suction I feel for what I'm doing. I'm just in my basement doing uh, projects, mostly finished work on projects in this room so I like to keep it clean so I use this quite a bit and like I said I just wish I would have built one sooner. Uh, I just took it a step farther with using the PVC the way I am. Um, I'm like I said, I'm probably 20 times now. It's it's worked really well, and I really like how much cleaner it looks without that that hose down the middle. I don't know what you'd have to do if you use the big two-inch fittings. I don't have that, so I haven't messed with it. But I imagine you could make it work one way or the other. Even if you're not going to do this. I would see if you could use the PVC the way I did to come through it to, to hold things. If anyone wants a build video on this where I break it down and show you guys how I did, 
let me know. I can do that. My bucket's sitting just a probably a quarter inch or so above my lid, if that. Above the lid of the vacuum. I didn't want it resting on there and I might as well let the PVC carry the weight and then onto the legs. And as you can see the two inch PVC fits right down into the sockets of the Bauer vacuum which works great. Don't know if I said it but this is 16 inches by 16 inches piece of plywood. Yes I will still go around my edges. This is still a prototype. I wasn't sure if I was going to switch it and make it wider to where like the guys I saw drill holes and put their accessories there. But I don't think I'm going to because this is just slick as can be. I got all my single point or single extension accessories on this side. So everything's ready to go. If you're using your floor broom, you're probably using your second extension. So that's ready to go. If I had a hand free, I could show you how slick that is, but you can probably about imagine. No fumbling around. I could probably ninja kick this thing and it would be fine, even without the stuff being glued. I'm, you, if you've messed with PVC pipe, you, you realize how tight you can get some of these fittings without even gluing them. And if I do glue them, I'll probably use a silicone or something that I can break loose in the future. So if I that vacuum takes a crap on me, and Harbor Freight doesn't have the exact same one or whatever it may be I go a different route I don't have to cut all my stuff apart to make it work with my new shop vac that will be a dedicated shop vac I don't see the point in getting it funkified using it for other things and then trying to use it to spit out clean air because that's the whole point of this cart is I don't want to blow a bunch of dust and stuff around while I'm vacuuming and I don't want to uh, change filters. One other thing I did, speaking of blowing dust around, I don't have it on right now, but I made a 90 and a 45 that I had to drummel down a little bit, but I'm going to figure out a way to make sure that gets secured in there well. It blows the exhaust up and away instead of just straight out the back, which if anyone's used one of these, they know how annoying that can be when you're blowing the dust around that you're trying to vacuum up. Questions, comments, anything like that, let me know. Thanks for watching.